Once upon a time, there was a man who was so poor that the only thing he could inherit his three sons. There was a meal, his dunk, and his cat. The oldest son was Charles, the second son was John, and the youngest son was Marcus. Now our father died. I'm the oldest. I will keep the man. And I'm next. I will take the man. You shall have the cat. <laughs> It's not fair at all. My brothers can make a fine living with the meal and the donkey. But what about me? The cat can make feed himself with catching mice. I don't know what I will eat. I'm stuck with puss. Now, now, you won't have to worry when I'm around. What I will need is a bag and a handsome pair of boots. And I will be able to take care of us or both. Sure you will. had very little money to spend, but knowing that the cat was a faithful old friend, he made up his mind to trust him, and so spent all he possessed in the smart pair of boots and hat. The boots fit him perfectly and he looked very smart. Pussy attaches a cabbage and some bran in the bag and slung it around his neck. He pushed his whiskers and set out. Boots and it's straight was but all the plenty of rabbits. He had a great plan in mind.
and with a rabbit in his bed, just walk straight away to the king's palace. There she met a guard. to plan, you will make a fortune. You need to trust me and do what I say. Okay, I trust you. What should I do? Go and bath in the river. I will take care of everything else. Is that all? Mm-hmm. I know that cat. Go and say it, quick. What happened? Your Majesty, the nasty hills stole my master's clothes. Is that so? 
Don't worry, I'll find suit for him. Give Lord Marcus some cloth. I'm very curious. Who is this strange nobleman whom no one has ever seen, but who sent such generous presents to me? You will meet him soon. He's coming. Thank you, my friend. I don't deserve to wear these fine clothes. Nonsense! You look very good in them. I invite you to walk with us. I can't accept. Please do. My daughter and I will be pleased if you join us. And um, if you will excuse me, I'll go and make a suitable arrangement to receive our king at the castle. Marquis was puzzled because he didn't live in a castle. But he kept quiet, pulls, ran ahead, and met some people walking in the fields. The king is come this way, and you are in great trouble. The only way you say at these villes belong to Lord Marquis of Carabas. We will do as you say. But please, don't take us away from our land. Promise. It's a fine day, and you, Marcus, are a very pleasant companion. It is an honor to be in here with you, and you purchase the workers. What a fine field! To whom does it belong? It belongs to our Lord, the Marquis of Carras. He ran on ahead as fast as he could until he came to a field of corn where the workers were busy. Next to Renon, and told all the other workers in the land labors to keep the same hours. He did that until he reached a castle. Marquis listened astonished and thought what a very wonderful friend his dear cat was. Meanwhile, the cat had arrived to the castle, which belonged to a cruel ogre who owned the land the king admired. Puss knocked at the door.
What do you want? I would like to pay my respect to your mighty master. Okay, come on. Please, give us a minute. 
That castle is even more stunning than ours. Do you like it? Hmm. What about him? I really like him, Daddy. I would like to marry him. I guess it's a good idea. What does it mean? Where does it come from? Don't worry, it's yours. I don't understand. You don't have to for now. We'll explain later. Now just play along. Your Majesty, the nervous way. Roast chicken, rabbit stew, mild spice, smoked duck, and hundreds of over dishes. Come this way. Please, wait for a minute. My dear Lord Marcus, I would be delighted if you would marry my only daughter. I will, if the princess wishes to live with me. Yes, I agree. So now, the cat had a splendid castle of strength. Thank you all, a magnificent feast to be prepared, and went to the castle gates to welcome his master and the royal party. They married and lived happily ever after. And so did Puss, because loyal Marquis made him a lord of the castle. Puss enjoyed great feast every day and did not go rats or mice anymore. Except now and then when he wanted some fun. The performance you watched was performed by a drama group named Nonsimplex from Hobbenia. Thank you for watching us!